Welcome to the first episode of Presto's Prognoses, the case study lecture series. This episode presumes you have fundamental knowledge of the Killer Bright Star set, so if you're new to the game, please refer to the Flow's Fundamentals lecture series for those. This episode is on late game trading, specifically a case involving bunny block bid. So let's look at the situation. I had bunny block bid in my top run card and $6, but no bunny to play it. One opponent had a starving bunny that he had no method to feed and $5. Another opponent had a bunny with a heavenly halo, the obvious target for bunny block bid, a prune danish and $1. I made a series of two trades where I kept all agreements, but ended up with a bunny at the end. First, I traded with opponent number one. I traded for his starving bunny that he had no way to feed anyways and I agreed to play Bunny Block Bid on the Halo Bunny, promising not to participate in the bid. So quite simply, I trade for the bunny, and now I'm under agreement to play the Bunny Block Bid. It is within the rules to break that agreement, but I do not do so here, and I don't consider it viable strategy to do so in your games. Instead, I did a second trade. Before playing Bunny Block Bid, I offer opponent number two $5 for the Prune Danish. So quite simply, $5 for the Prune Danish. Now even though I'm playing Bunny Block Bid, opponent number two has enough money to outbid opponent number one, and therefore he will keep his bunny. So I play Bunny Block Bid. Opponent number two spends the $6, and I spend the Prune Danish to keep the bunny from starving to death. And that was the end of the trades. I now have a bunny. So, as you can see from this case study analysis, creative late game trades provided a bunny. My first opponent doesn't have a bunny in the late game, and I have more dollar than my second opponent in the late game. All three of those options are of course crucial, but perhaps most importantly, neither opponent in this case was seeking retaliation because they all felt that those were fair trades, even though they significantly helped me. This has been the first episode of Presto's Prognoses, reviewing late game trading in a specific case involving Bunny Block Bid. And as always, Jeff Bless.